In this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize the edit workspace in Premiere Pro. All right, so before we customize our editing workspace, let's actually just do a quick overview of what we have in here. So up at the top, there's our drop-down menus, which you can't customize, but if you click on any of them, there's a bunch of different options that you can do in there. Below that, we have the import workspace where you're gonna bring in your footage and set up your project. On the other side here, we have the export workspace, which is where you, when you're done with your video, you're gonna export it into some sort of video format. And in the middle here, we have the editing workspace, which is where you put your video together. And while it might look pretty intimidating at first, just know that each of these panels serves a specific purpose and will help you organize yourself throughout the editing process. And don't worry if your workspace does not look like mine right now. Like let's say you have panels in different positions or other panels that are maybe missing. Don't worry, because that's what the point of this video is. I'm gonna show you how to customize yours to get it looking like mine, or even better, to suit your editing needs. Okay, so now let's quickly go over what each of these panels does, okay? So in the bottom left, this is your project files panel. So anything you import into your project, like let's say clips, or you have stuff organized in folders, or maybe your sequence right here, anything you have that's part of your project will show up over here. If you double click on any of them, so I'm gonna double click on this video right here, it's then gonna show up right up here in your source monitor or source panel. Up here is where you can play your footage to preview it and to make your cuts. So let's say you want this one to cut right there so you can mark in. You go later on, you're like, I wanna cut right there to mark out. And then you can drag this by clicking on it down here into your sequence or timeline. And if you notice, as I put this clip in, wherever this blue line is, that's what's gonna show up up here, which is your program or project monitor. Okay, so down here in your sequence, this is where you're gonna pile all your clips, make your cuts, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Beside it, these are a bunch of tools. So this little tiny panel is your tools to help you make cuts and move things around. And then over here is just like an audio bar. So if you play something, it'll show you how loud it is and make sure that you can match up your audio levels. And then last but not least, I have this panel over here, which is, I'm just gonna say a collection of kind of drop down panels. So every single one here, these are all things that you're gonna use throughout editing. If you click on them, it's gonna open up like all my effects there. I can click on it to close it. I can have my essential graphics, which is all my like text editing stuff is gonna be in there. And then like, let's say Lumetri Color, which is like your image grading panel as well. Oh, and one last thing. Within any of the panels, there's also gonna be these like little headers up here. And these will open up different options within that panel. So right now I said this is the source one, but if I click over here, I can turn it into the audio mixer, the audio track mixer, or even better yet, the effect controls. So if I did add any effects to my clip, so let's say right here, I go into effects and I drag in Gaussian blur onto that clip. It's gonna add that effect into my effect controls, which I can now mess with and it'll impact the clip here, which will impact what we see in our program or project monitor as well. Okay, so now that we know what each of the panels does, let's actually look at the different ways that we can customize the workspace to suit your needs. And the first thing you have to know is up here, when you hover over this thing, you can see it says workspaces. If you click on that, there's a bunch of different workspaces that when you click on them, Premiere is gonna rearrange all of the panels to kind of suit a different stage within the editing process or a different type of video that you're editing. For example, if I click on vertical, it's gonna rearrange everything. All the panels are gonna be moved. That's why it's important you know what each panel does. For example, my tools are now over here, my project files are here, my timeline's here, and now this little one here that used to be, we would say the source monitor, that one contains all the stuff that I used to have over here on my side panel. And the reason why it's moved like this is because now the source monitor is actually housed right beside the program monitor. They're kind of right beside each other. And that's to create more real estate here to edit vertical videos. You wouldn't edit this type of video in vertical format in this workspace. You would edit that type of video in, I'm just gonna go back to effects where it was before because it's horizontal like this. There's more real estate 
moving left and right in landscape than vertical. So if I go back to vertical, you can see that if, now if I switch to my vertical timeline, so I'll just scroll down here and double click on vertical, that you can see how that makes sense. Now my vertical video takes up a lot more space. And if I switch back to effects to edit that type of video, you can see it's really tiny and you won't be able to see your footage as much. But just so you know, I really only use effects and vertical. So if I'm editing a horizontal, like regular type video, I will use my effects workspace. And if I'm doing vertical videos, I'll use vertical. I don't really use any of the other ones because all I do is customize these two to work for me and to look how I want. So let me show you how to do that by going back to effects and switching back to my regular timeline here. All right, so there's really four different ways that you can customize your workspace. You can resize panels. So for example, if I hover over any of these dark gray or black lines here and I click on them and slide, I can make certain panels bigger and certain panels smaller. So that goes for up and down like this as well. And you can do that throughout your editing. You don't have to just have them one size and then edit the whole time. If you need to see more of your sequence, then make that bigger. And then when you're trying to preview it at the end or whatever, maybe make this one bigger so you can see your video a lot clearer. The second thing you can do is move panels. So if you don't like the way that anything is placed, you can actually click on one. So let's say the tools here, you can click on it. And then as you drag, you see that little box beside it. If you go right into the middle of another panel, like this big purple blotch here, and you let go, it's gonna add it up here as one of the tabs. You can also do that. So if I click on that now, I can drag it out and I get the same little box beside my arrow. You can do the same thing like that by going up to the very top. So you can see it'll, it'll place it in the top here. You see this, this dark like purple thing here, and then you can let go and it'll do the exact same thing. But you can also, if you go to the side of any panel, you see that's kind of like an angled purple thing like this, and you let go, that's gonna move it in between two other panels. And then you can just resize it to suit your needs. The third way to customize your workspace or layout is to actually move the tabs. So you can move them within a panel. So if I click this one, I can move it to the left over here. I can move my sequences or timelines around to sort them like that. But you can also move them from one panel to another. As we saw before, when the source monitor in the vertical workspace, the source monitor here was with program. So I can move it over here, drop it in, and now I have them both within this panel over here. I'm just gonna move that back over there for now. And then the final way is to either add or remove panels or any of these tabs. So for example, if I go over here to effects, whatever, maybe I don't want markers in here, I can click on it to open it and click on this thing and go close panel. So that's gonna be just gone now. That one's eliminated from here. You can, if they're up at the top here, same thing, the same little drop down is in there. You can close that one. If you wanna add any new ones, you can go to window up at the top here and find something that you are missing. So for example, if I go over here and I click on this and close the panel for Lumetri color, and I'm like, well, where is it? I can't find it, I wanna add it. If I'm clicked over here and I go to window and then I go back to Lumetri color, you just find the ones that you're missing, all the checked ones means that it's somewhere within your workspace. If it's not checked, then you just select it, so Lumetri color, boom, and it'll show up back in here. Different ones will show up in different places. So for example, if I go back to window, if I go down to audio track mixer, in this case, I'd have to go over and pick the sequence that I want to deal with, I'm gonna go regular, you're gonna see it's gonna pop in right here instead of over here. But if I wanted it over there, remember, I can just click and drag it over here if I want. And then kind of the last thing that you need to know if we click back in here is kind of what some of these other things are. So I'm gonna skip all the way down to this. So show workspace label, if I click that, that just puts the workspace that I'm working in up here so I know. So if I went and I switched to vertical, you'll see that I'll switch to vertical there so you can see which workspace you're in if you care about that. Down at the very bottom here, you can show workspace tabs. So if I click on that, that's the way that Premiere used to have it, all the tabs at the top. And if you click on this little line here, you can stretch it out to see all of them. 
and then they're just kind of sitting there. So instead of dropping it down like this, you can now just go between effects and vertical and just click on the ones that you're using up there. If by chance you mess up something really bad, so let's say you close this panel, you close this and you, you know, like everything is just kind of messed up. You can also go in here, boom, and go down here to reset to saved layout. So if you click on that, it's gonna reset your panels to match the original layout of the effects workspace. So if you do wanna customize your workspace, make sure you save it. So for example, if I move the tools back up here and this is my new cool workspace that I want to save, then all you have to do is go up here, click on it and make sure to go down right here to save as new workspace. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna name it. So I'm just gonna call this one effects new as an example, click okay and you'll see that it's gonna show up within here. It'll be the last one down there. So now if I get rid of this panel, for example, and I go, ah, I wanna reset that. I go here and I go to reset to save layout. Now it's resetting to my effects new layout and it's gonna keep my toolbar up there. And just so you know, if you make any other changes, so maybe you wanna move this down here now and stretch this out you're like, wow, that's my new workspace that I wanna keep. Just go up here and go down to save changes to this workspace. So that'll save this one within effects new. You don't have to make a new one each time. Okay, and then finally, if we go back in and go right back down to the bottom, you can see there's edit workspaces. And this is really just to reorganize which ones are at the top or that might show up first. So for me, I would wanna go effects, and drag that one to the top or maybe go get my new effects new one and drag this one right up to the top right here then i'll probably get vertical under that and then if there's ones that i don't want to see i can drag them down to the bottom so let's say review i never use that one i can click it and drag it under do not show so anyone that you don't use just click it and drag it down there and then make sure to click ok here to save it but first if there's anything you want to delete, you notice that you can't delete just anything. There's only certain ones that you can delete. For example, any one that you make, you can see delete will show up there. Just click delete if you wanna get rid of it. When you have everything organized the way that you want, just click okay, and then they'll all rearrange right here and within this dropdown. And notice that review no longer shows up. And that's it. That's how to customize your editing workspace in Premiere Pro. If you wanna learn more about any of the panels individually and what they do, like what all the different buttons and stuff are, then make sure to check out the videos I have linked in the description below. Bye.